All right. Hello, Goodstones fans. So, since... Yeah, we're going to make this exclusive. Of course, it's going to be exclusive. So, books I have read as a kid, Goosebumps related, for Goosebumps. I read, of course, Monster Blood. And since I was a part of the Accelerated Reader Program, there are some books that they said, Fuck you, you didn't read it. You didn't read it. I read Monster Blood 3, but because of Accelerated Reader, they said, no, I didn't. <laughs> Pick the right questions and I'm able to answer them. Gosh. <laughs> uh, I read some of Beware of the Snowman, but I stopped because I was like, eh, you know, I'm going to save this so I can watch the episode and I'll be able to watch the episode and not be, you know, saying, oh, yeah, of course, that happened in the book. So I didn't want to actually spoil myself, so that's why I stopped reading that one. <laughs> but I got to the point of where she went to the snowman, and the snowman said, I am your father. Dun, dun, dun. I'm like, no fucking way. No fucking way. So I stopped right there. That's where I stopped. Of course, some of the things that I read was pretty much fuzzy. I read... um. The Bottom of Snowman of Pasadena. I did read that one. There is a little bit of question of did I actually read it or not, considering what I remember that I read in the end was the two kids were jerk asses and been like, oh, we, we dug in your trash. Guess what? And they froze the main boy character. He's now frozen. But apparently someone else told me that no that didn't happen it was either the twins got frozen because they're stupid or the sister got frozen again and I'm like okay well I guess I have to go to the Wikipedia page to find out who's actually right am I right because I was pissed off are they right or are they right I really hope that the one that is real is the twins and I know that y'all two are watching or listening Maybe the three others, but I don't think the three others ever showed up here. But it's like, for the love of God, do not tell me what happened. <laughs> it's like, yeah, for the love of God, do not tell me what happened. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't tell me what happened at the end of it. I'd rather just be questioned and be like, which one is it? Versus knowing him like, no. Unless it's the two twins. If it's the two twins that got frozen, tell me. If it's someone else, it's one of the other two, don't tell me. Ownership, I had five books in all. Three books were cursed because, well, like I said, my dad bought them somewhere, some way. Most likely he bought it just where Homer bought that crusty doll. And I sent something very dark in him. I had to get, get rid of them as soon as possible. Comment down below to see if you actually really are watching this, what the three books are. It's like by this point, almost everyone kind of should know what the three books are. If you don't know, then ouch, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> but the other two book I, books I had was Goosebumps Presents. They came from a friend. So that was OK Aura. I mean, I sense dark aura in them, but it's not as bad. It wasn't as bad as the ones my dad gave me. So it's Goosebumps Presents Monster Blood and Goosebumps Presents Night. Camp, Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Welcome to Camp Nightmare, I can't find to this day. It's gone. I don't know where it is. It's gone. The Monster Blood book, I know where it is. I'm able to get it very, very easily. I think that, that's basically it. That's all the books I ever read Goosebumps related. I touched Bad Hair Day. I touched the My Best Friend's Invisible. I touched those two books. I sadly had to touch the first night, first night of living dummy book. Sadly, someone had to be a jerk ass and move it because it just caused Mr. Paranoia. You know, it was it's like you see the seventh book. Think about it's like I'm pretty sure you guys are OK with it. For me, it wasn't OK because the whole entire day or technically the whole entire fucking week. That book was staring at me. It was staring at the whole entire class. And everyone was okay with that shit. And I'm like, I moved it so it actually doesn't do that crap. And when I come back, someone moved it back to where it was. And I'm like, 
Again, maybe someday I'll show you because I still have the wooden thing as a kid, the wooden shelf. I'll show you the places that I scratched on it because they look like eyes. Yes, that really actually caused some freaking issues to me. And some jerk ass decided to be like, there you go. I love Slappy looking at me. I hate you so much. I don't know who the fuck it was, but I hate you so much. Oh, yeah. I think I did rent. I actually did um check out in the library of the school ghost beach and someone stole it <laughs> it's like yeah and someone stole it of course i wouldn't read it i don't know what was what i really did i have no idea but i'm pretty sure dominique stole it because dominique did have it and i'm pretty sure he stole it but they thought i had it and i'm like no <laughs> it's like no I mean, have you seen the cover of Ghost Beach? Do you think I actually really... It's like, yeah, that's the point of where I got scared. <laughs> that's the point of where fear entered my heart. So it's like, do you really think I actually would... Out of all of them, I would actually have Ghost Beach? The f oh, I touched and looked through the Lawn Gnomes TV special version. In a church. <laughs> in church. Yeah, mind you, in church in church i'm pretty sure that's messed the fuck up right there i'm pretty sure that's the worst thing i could say it's like what the fuck <laughs> yeah the girl brought it um britney brought it in like one night when we're in church it was most likely because of some kind of parents meeting or something let's see anything else that i did uh hmm what other ones did I... I think I kind of touched my Harry's Adventure. I didn't want to ever touch the Barking Ghost. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that one's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, oh, hell no. Uh, let's see, any other ones that I... I think I saw Don't Go to Sleep when I was like six years old. Yeah. And I was in six... It's like, I was six years old, and in a sixth grade classroom, there was... I know she was fifth grade. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. It's like I was like I was six years old in the sixth grade classroom. There's don't go to sleep. I think I did touch it. Mm, let's see what else. Uh, oof. what other ones did I look? I actually did. Mm. I'm thinking. I think of course I look because we had classic thingies, and I think. I did see multiples, but I didn't see a lot. I would say, like, in second grade, that's when I first got the circulars, I think. And I remember, like, the beginning of two, 1998, I remember seeing on the cover of it was Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that. It's kind of funny, though. It's like, the Goosebumps... Oh, yeah, I saw Dr. Eek in Publix. It's like I saw many things. It's like I saw many things, and many of them creeped me to fuck out, okay? It's like I wasn't scared. There's just some of them at that point when I was little that creeped me to fuck out. And eventually, the fear came into my heart. Yeah, think about it. What if I actually saw the seventh of the book when I was like six years old? Oh, that would have fucked me out. That, that would have been freaked out. Is either I'll be freaked out or I'll be like, I'm not afraid of you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Even though as a six year old, I didn't cuss. So, let's see anything else. I think that's everything. I mean, I saw Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, the actual book. I think I did see that at one point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, I saw all the dummy books, but I never really touched them. I think I might have touched the second one. I think that's it. I think that's basically it. Of course, nowadays, I read a few more books. I tried attempting doing one more book, but... Actually, I tried attempting doing two more books, and I failed. <laughs> it's like, I failed. It's like, yeah, I, there's no shame. There's no shame. Because my dad did more crap to me just by giving me those cursed books. My dad did something even worse when it comes to the whole reading. It's fun. And reading is something that is adventure and stuff. It's like, yeah, he did more than that. 
So he did more damage than just the cursed books that actually just kept me actually having some messed up senses. Yep, my spiritual sense just went off. And it's like, wee, 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 wee. Never really letting me sleep. It's like I slept, but I woke up and just sensed something. Actually, I think one, it's like, I know that one of the books actually definitely invaded my mind. One of the books invaded my mind. Basically played the mess up trick of being like inside. It just came in real life. And just decided to just turn the backyard. That was like the backyard. And then we had a retention pond in the back. So it turned the freaking backyard that had trees that actually covered the retention pond in the fence. And it just decided to turn into a cornfield. And then they were just walking right out of it. <laughs> yep. And I was looking out the window. I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. Yes. It it was very, very messed up. Okay. <laughs> Those books did some crap. <laughs> Thank goodness is that only because of the covers. And the good news is that only one of them was froggy and leaped. The other two didn't do any anything. The other two, only one of them was froggy enough to leap. The other one was intimidating, but it didn't do shit. And one just creeped me to fuck out. <laughs> just funny. It's like yes. It's like Ozzy fan loves the book. For me, I'm like it creeped me to fuck out. <laughs> it creeped me to. Fuck out man <laughs> it's like seriously creep me to fuck out I mean it's like the creep factor was there and it's like damn you <laughs> freaking damn you man anyways yeah I thought it was just a good moment to actually talk about these it's like do I have the cursed books today yes believe it or not I still have those but I'm pretty sure as soon as I actually read hopefully you didn't hear that crap I have the other version of it. I have the new version of one of them. And I'm pretty sure that the other one, I think I might have two of them. that are different, the different versions of nowadays. I'm trying to remember. That seems, and no matter which one I chose for one of them, one of them is like, they both suck. <laughs> so as soon as I'm finished and actually do reviews on them, those books will be up for grabs for someone who wants them. Of course, there'll be a cash exchange, of course, because it's like if you love the content and you want to see more books to be reviewed, there's some way how I actually have to get money so I'm able to get the more books, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's kind of funny where it's like, yeah, and send books that you want me to review at dot, 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 dot. It's like, no, that we're never going to get to that point. Not unless until I get a partner. As soon as you get to a partner, then you can do that donations. And then it's like, yeah, that would be cool. But then it's like, after that, we might make a bonanza where it's like, yeah, with all the books that you gave to me, some of them I liked and I'll keep in my collection. The other ones will be in this nice little crate here. And it's like, we're going to do a nice little raffle. <laughs> Whoever actually wants to have books, it's like, there we go. My goodness, I really hope you didn't listen to hear that. Anyways, have a scary day or scary night.